Hey, howdy everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I gotta address something, if you notice, I haven't posted recently. On my list of things I need to do in life, this is towards the bottom of the list. I have a son, I have work, I have school, I have life. Uh, just everything is taking up a lot of my time, especially lately, so I will try to get caught up on everything as soon as I can, but my time is very limited now until at least until the end of school like middle of may so if i can hold out until then i will have a more regular schedule then i still need to do some album reactions new boundaries just came out um carmen yaka's album won the patreon poll marius hit me with a triple request so i've got a lot to do and also new era album comes out in a few days as well Oh boy, it's been hectic, but I will listen to everything if maybe a little later than other reactors. Whatever, it's fine. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll, you know, I'll do it. Today I'm checking out new Mirror. I missed their last single that they released a few weeks ago as well, so I'm going to check out both of them today, starting with Takata and then looking at Deluge. Let me get into this i don't want to waste any more time i need to hear this it's eight and a half minutes and six and a half minutes respectively for these songs so let me check this out here goes nothing i'm not ready for this i can tell just a little picture visualizer Okay, all right. Well, if you don't know what this is, they are sampling <laughs> Beethoven's Toccata and Fugue in, uh, I, th I think, D minor. What happened to- why is it doing that? They are sampling that and making it extreme thaw. That's why it's called Toccata. I wonder if they would reference anything. That's one of Beethoven's most popular pieces. It's like, it's like an organ song. dun 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 You've probably heard it if you have heard any classical music at all. Let me hear this again. You can hear it. <laughs> oh, that's so sick. Uh, I love Mira's use of classical motifs and and themes and stuff. It's so interesting. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, those sounds are so weird. It's so bouncy, too. That was a Vildiarta-like switch-up. 
Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause for a second, but if you go back to... They were here in... In, like, B-flat minor for most of this. And then we go to... Villarta has a lot of that in Mastaden und Rvaten, where they'll they'll be in one key and then they take it up a half step to the next key a half step up. Very Villarta switch up. <laughs> and they slow it down. Unbelievable. What? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's so groovy. This weird atmosphere is really creepy. We're back to the B-flat minor again. Very thaw, nice. Man, they are just geniuses with these, <laughs> these sounds. We've done it again. This is, okay, we're bringing the harpsichord in now. This has been very... Um, this has been very Vildiarta. This feels more Vildiarta type Thal than their other songs, I feel. I don't really remember Lizette and uh, Dijonis that that well, but those are the other two that I heard. <clears throat> I haven't I haven't listened to them because they kind of blew my mind, and I I wanted to, with, with certain songs, with certain Thal songs specifically, and it's the same with Vildiarta, I don't want to listen to the singles too much because I really want to hear it in the context of a full album. And I don't know if this is leading up to a full album, if, they, if they've announced one or something. I'm not sure. But I really want to hear it in the context of a full album, just to hear all of it together. So I don't listen to Thal singles too much. Because I feel like they're made more for full album type things. Let me, let me listen to this transition again. So the key changes they're doing, they're doing key changes that are very far from the key they're in, in terms of where the key is around the circle of fifths, not very far on the keyboard, like left to right. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I'm not, I swear I'm not picking my nose. It's just, just being very itchy today for some reason. Not far as in far, no, like on the keyboard. If you look here, they went from here to here. Oops, I played, played a major. This isn't very far, but in terms of around the circle of fifths, the keys are not related to each other. They're very distant on the plane of, like, if you're thinking about keys and chords that are related to each other, these are very different. And I'm going to do an episode of Theory Clip on the circle of fifths at some point. Uh, oh, ep episode two, by the way, is out on my Patreon. If you join tier three, the Theory Clip tier, it's out there. It's out there. Remember, that is a Patreon exclusive series, so it will not be free on YouTube. It's only for paying patrons. But hey, if you want to wait a few weeks, a few months for there to be more episodes and then start paying, fine with me too. You'll get more bang for your buck that way. So up to you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, they did this. And then, then they go from this key to this key, which again, from here to here, these keys are very far apart on the circle of fifths. They are a little farther apart in terms of left to right. They're, they're farther apart than, than something like this, but it's still farther apart around the circle of fifths if we're talking about chords that are harmonically related because this interval here is a tritone, which is a pretty ugly sounding interval. Used a lot in metal writing though. Let me take it back. With the harpsichord and everything, yeah. More classical influence. I adore this. Oh, 
It's so punchy. Then they do that half step thing again. They go from this minor to this minor. So we've gone down a half step again. They're doing like tritones and half steps, which are very, very far apart related on circle of fifths, like I said, which I will get to in a theory clip episode. If you don't know what the circle of fifths is, I'll break it down and explain it. It's going to be cool. Uh, these these alien noises are just <laughs> they're so weird. I love it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We're picking up. It's so relentless. <laughs> There's so many switch ups, it's crazy. Now they're going between these two chords. Which are a half step apart. I can't even I uh, I can't even process this. That's crazy. Where are we at? Oh, okay. Wow, we're, we're nearing the end. Okay. Ooh, we're taking it up. <laughs> what are these noises? This is so insane. Wow. That's crazy. Mirror is pretty...
probably up there. They might even be my second favorite Thal band. Project band? Are these guys in another band or is this their only band? I don't, I don't know. Anyway, they might be my second favorite Thal band under Vildiarta. Mostly because the way that they use classical elements, but then also switch it up with things that are very not classical, like these key changes that are like very doesn't make sense. It very doesn't make sense. What I just said didn't make sense. But they're they're very far. Like key changes that are a half step or a tritonal part or things like that. And then the use of just insane high pitched squealy noises to accent what's happening in the other instruments. Unbelievable. All right. One more track. Deluge. Which, if I remember correctly, is something to do with rain. Yeah, without um, without the accent, it's just a severe flood. I don't know if this has something to do with that. But it looks like there's a ship here, and possibly a flood. So we shall see. Interesting, I'm going to take it back, but interesting beginning melody. It's it's pretty basic. I don't know if that's sampling or, or not sampling, but referencing anything classical. I don't think so. But it's a very tonal melody. Very tonal. Not not too not too weird so far. Back into the funky groovy parts, let's go. This is something they have over Vildiarta. Vildiarta doesn't really get into the groove that often. But Mirar is great at it. It's very dubstep inspired too. Like the this this pattern specifically reminded me of that. But the other one, the other song as well, it's it's got sort of a dubstep feel to it, where you have like like if you took out the heavy guitars and replaced it with like electronic dubstepy sounds, it would feel very dubstep like. Especially this this pattern. Listen to it again. Pretty sure Skrillex did something like that pattern at one point. I've listened to Skrillex in like 10 years. Yeah, Vildiarta is way more in the sort of ethereal, trance-like, slow fall, and Mirar is the fast and groovy fall. They did it again, did you hear that? They did another half-step key change where they're here, and then they go to that key. Now we're, now we're in this key. 
and take it back. Listen for it. Now we're down here. Ooh. Last beats. Whispering. See? See what I mean about the dumpstep stuff? That was basically like a doop into some beat trap kind of thing. It's dubstep and classical, but turned up the heaviness by like 500 notches. It's so unique. I love it. This goes so hard. Ocean storm noises. Harps the chord again. Let's go. More classical. You can feel the Renaissance oozing out of the music. And their use of Renaissance type paintings adds to that as well. Ooh. Ooh. Harp? Where are we going with this? Now they take that chord progression that they just played with the harpsichord and the harp and put it into Thal. It's so unique. Ah, oh, classical chord progressions work so well with metal. These chords are so classical. It's almost painful how classical these chords are. <laughs> it works so well. Another certified banger. That's crazy. These guys are insane. Sorry, I don't know. What else do they have? Some they have like 
they had some other diminished chord in there. I forgot the exact chord progression, but it was something like that where it was very classical. Classical has a lot of um, secondary dominance, which is when you take like something like this and then you go to this, which if you think about it is it's this chord inverted. You take this B here and you put it on top. Sorry. Take that B, put it on top. They'll use that chord progression a lot, or they'll do something like... Something weird. But there's a lot of those sort of... Chords that lead into other chords, that really feel like they're going somewhere. Like these tendency chords. Which I'll talk about when I get more into chords and chord progressions uh, in my Theory Clip series. Again, little plug for my Patreon. Go check that out. Episode 2 about intervals is out now. Go check it out. Go watch it. It's it's good, it, I promise. Um, but if you have any questions about any of that stuff in my Theory Clip things as well, go over to the Patreon, subscribe to the tier, comment under the video, I'll answer your questions. And I'm really excited for where that series is going to go. Uh, this... Yeah. Unbelievable. Their singles never fail to disappoint. I'm so excited for whatever album or, or project they have coming up. Heavily, heavily influenced by classical, which I love so much. It's it's great. I'm really looking forward to whatever they're going to do next. I hope they have an album announcement soon. I don't know if they're going to do that. I really, I really don't know much about them as a group. So let me know if they are planning on doing an album. Or if right now they're just kind of putting out singles the same way Villarta's doing and just kind of seeing where things are going. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. I loved these. Can't wait to hear more and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye bye.